Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, sir. Hey, class, how are you? Hey, good evening, sir. Hey, good to see you. Mm. How is everyone? Everything good. I'm having, wait, wait, uh, Bert, you are a IT guy, right? Yeah, yeah, I am. that's right. I am having a problem with Chrome that it doesn't open. I mean, it, it only the windows open. Oh, only on the taskbar. On the taskbar, like if I open three windows, the three open. But they don't open right. on my desktop. That's two times I've had mm. that problem. Do you know why? Mm. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I mean, this is a uh, IT. Yeah, you're right. It's IT problem, but this is uh, not that into, different IT. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, this is like technical support. And yes. So this is just. So I deal with databases, uh, API, and stuff like that. Gotcha. That's not so. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know that, that problem? <laughs> Maybe someone is IT here. Uh, technical support. It's possible. Wait, I'm getting chats right now. So what happens is, like, I open Chrome. I open the Windows normally. But they don't open in my desktop. They just stay in the taskbar. And I said, "What? And they don't, you know, they don't just open. They stay like if I open three windows, the three windows stay in the taskbar. They don't open. Have you had that problem before, anybody? I'm sorry. Do you have right too. <laughs> sorry. Just right too. Uh, okay, wait. all the all the all the application like control soup and i mean you're gonna be the task manager and then you're gonna close all the windows that are not responding and then you open it back yes I, it back. I guess i'll do it that's the only class. idea that i have because is maybe the program is stuck and it's not maybe it's running but it's stuck and you all you have to do is just open the task manager and kill that process and then open it again the, the application you want to open or execute it's true thank you i will do that allison what was your suggestion uh the same <laughs> task manager yeah i fix it by turning the computer off and then turn it on i it did always work I did, yeah. I did, and that's why I took long to to join, because I was I I promise you I was here 15 minutes before before eight, you know, setting everything up, and and then I noticed that it took a while to to turn on. And, oh, this is strange, and then it ah, I I hate this when this happens. But I have to fix this tonight because tomorrow. At seven in the morning, I have to. I have a meeting. So can you imagine this in a meeting? <laughs> well, so how is everyone? Not good, teacher. I mean, I'm sorry to say, not good. San Miguel is hell right now. Oh man, it's hell is burning. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. I bet it's very hot right now. I see different people today. Well, Allison for me is new. Jonathan Adonai, I think I remember you. You were in the class before, right? I remember, hey, Claudia, how are you? Hey, hello, sorry for the delay. I was updating Zoom, sorry. You were what? I was updating Zoom because... <laughs> Yes. Oh, you are indeed. Okay. Yes, I'm doing well. What about you? I'm good. How are you in your um uh, in your in your account? 
learning everything all day. <laughs> but is everything okay? Yes. All right. Good, hold on. Let me see who else is here. Claudia Guerrero, hi. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm excited. Yeah, why? Why is that? I, I, I have so many things to do before the class. <laughs> You have any things to do before the class? And after, before and after the class. What do you have to do? Uh, things from, from my work. Where do you work? In, uh, it calls Inversiones Brico and is a construction company. Oh, okay. So you have to work after work. Yes. All right. Um, here I go again with the same. Denia, Angelica, Jonathan, Delia, and Jenny, do you have cameras on? Hi, Jenny. Thank you. There's Jonathan. Dalia. There's Angelica. Hi, Angelica. And we have Denia. Denia, I like your name, Denia Sahori. Yes, hi. Is there a story for that name? Sorry? Is there a story for that name? No. Actually, no, don't, don't have a story. Only I like that name, my mom, and put that name. For me. <laughs> but she didn't put the name. She gave you that name. Yeah. No, yes. You have to repeat. You see, um, in, in Spanish, we say, I put him. Okay. But in English, name is a verb. So if you have a baby, you say, how did, what did you name your baby? I named my baby Denia Sahori. So in this case, my mother named me like that. Okay. All right. So my man gave me that name. No, right? she didn't give me. Oh, yeah, but yeah. she she named me. Okay, she named me. Yes. And even I think in Spanish, también mi mamá me nombró así. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, uh, yeah, because in Spanish we say me puso así, pero you don't say that in English. She put. So you say name. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, all right. Dennis, how are you? Hi there. Hi um, Dennis. Yep, I'm, I'm doing good. Teacher, I'm doing good. Yeah, just joining the meeting and I see that everyone is new for me. Had yeah, to you, know. You're new too. <laughs> Yeah. Who who is new? I think I think uh, Dennis, Allison, Denia. They're new. And, and, Cla and Claudia and Dalia, Dalila. What about Dalila? Is, is there a story for that name? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Could you repeat again, please? Your name, Dalila. Is there a, is there a story for that name? Yes, on the Bible. Oh, yeah. Always the people made uh, jokes with that. Who is Dalila? I forget. Um, that was um, the woman. Uh, it, the people said that it's the woman who cut the hair to Samson, but Sansa. that is true. Is she just like him? Okay, yeah, Dalila. So she was a bad person. I, I don't think so, but. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, but the name is nice. Yes, yeah, the name is nice. It's a nice name. All right, good. Uh, where are you from, Dalila? What part of El Salvador? 
Um, Alta Vista CD. Oh, okay. I think it was in this class, Alta Vista. I did not know that Alta Vista is divided in two cities. So Yapango and San Martin, right? In Ilopango. Ah, oh, no, Ilopango. Actually, uh -huh. yeah, Ilopango is, um, is some confused because part of Alta Vista is from Ilopango and the other part from San Martin and the other part is of Tonacatepec. Oh man. So what garbage comes in the three? Oh, um, in my case, the Tonacatepec. Okay. Do you know that my Dewey, um, my father, my, my father's house is in, it's called Colonia Bello San Juan. It's kilometer four of Los Planes de Landeros. And my brother and I, we have the exact same address on the Dewey. But my brother votes in San Salvador and I vote in San Marcos. And that, that, that imagine the same house. We vote, the, the, the families are separated because some have to vote in San Salvador, some have to vote in, in, in San Marcos. <laughs> What about you? I'm I'm sorry, Dalila. What do you do? Um, what did I do? What do what you do? do? What do oh, you do? Okay. I work in a call center. Which one? Is for web help. Oh, you work in web help. I am uh, like a back office. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ronald, do you understand what back office is? I work at back office too. I say back okay. office agent. Okay, good. So you're back office. Who doesn't understand what back office is? Everybody, you don't understand, Bert? Okay, can you explain to Bert what back office is? <laughs> Dalila, can you explain to uh, Bert? Bert is Jesus Alberto, but he likes to be called Bert. Okay. So back office is, um, let me think, is when you work in the, um, some documentation, for example. In my case, I am working for a travel agency, so I resolve some uh, customer's requests, but I don't have to call them, so I know what they want to do, and I know what I have to do, and I resolve it. Good. You see, back office, yes, back office, the name is self-explanatory. Back office is the part you don't see in an office. In an, when you go to a business or an office, you see everybody, correct? You see a, the people that, hi, can I help you? What do you need? Blah, 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 blah. Back office is pretty much paperwork. Dalila, you don't, you don't have contact with clients, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. yes. I just have to uh -huh, fill some documentation, maybe write some emails, but mm -hmm. just that. You do follow-ups, yes. So back office is, is that. It's people who work in the back. That's where the term, and I love that because you don't have back-to-back -back calls and this and that. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's, it's not that good because there are some agents who believe they know everything and they, do, they don't take your feedback oh, because yeah. they think they know everything. In my case, I don't deal with customers, but I deal with uh, team managers in, from other countries and they don't accept feedback and they, they make a little, little problem a big one. Yes. And they, they, and they report everything and it's not... I mean, it's it's not as stressful as to be taking calls, but it's not um, that easy. 
But you know what, Ronald? That's everywhere. <laughs> no, I know, but because when I used to take calls, I didn't, uh, I didn't complain. I just felt like any other job would be that stressful. I think people consider call centers a job are are difficult, and I think they are boring because you're doing the same every single day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know. I was I was speaking with my friends. Did you see that woman? I think she was from Volaris. Yeah, and on TikTok. Yeah, I yeah. saw. I saw many people defending her. You know, like, oh man, you know, nobody understands her stress, blah, blah, blah. And what I I don't know, personally, I think, hey. <laughs> She was not obligated to, to be there. And she was in customer care, you know, and she signed a contract. I mean, customer care is like a special look. You will deal with customers, with all types of customers. Angry, do you think you can handle? Yes, yes, no problem. And they signed the contract. So in my opinion, she was very bad. And, and the person recording, he was not. He was not a terrible customer. There are worse customers. So, yeah, you know, so Ronald, I think every job is like that. That's why. Yes, that... like, sorry, like mm -hmm. the case with the doctor, the football team by Alianza, that everything. The yeah. doctors, um, she, no, don't. Um, I don't know how to say, but she's uh, frustrated. I think the her work, but that is the profession. Uh, big doctor uh, applied. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes patients for, uh, for thousand yes. and thousand and for me the action the. I don't know if it was the government or the 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 board of directors. The for me that action was good because that comment was very stupid. You know, I have my brother, he's a doctor, he defends her. He saw no, but you know, I mean it's yeah. I said no, that was a very stupid comment, especially from no. a doctor. Because remember my doctors, father... yes. My father is a doctor and he and he doesn't defend her. Good. But I think my brother I don't does know what you're talking about uh, I don't I don't watch news. Can um, you yeah. tell me? There was a doctor. Did you see what happened with the Alianza game last week or two yes, weeks ago? I, I, I saw them. So there was a doctor in her shift. Turno is shift. Uh and no, I know you're here with that. No, there was a doctor and she tweeted something like, thank you, Alan Alianza, for ruining my shift. Thank you, Alianza and Fast, for ruining my uh, shift. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, she was she was very stupid because she was saying, yeah. mis palabras fuera de contexto. how is that possible? How, how you know, where, where is the, the, the reporter? And I would say, excuse me, can you explain for a context? Because I, I can't think of any other for a context, you know, your words. I didn't know. I mean, if you knew or didn't know, that was a very stupid comment. And she's very, very young. But I think my brother, because he hates the government. So that's why I think he, he he's in favor of the doctor. But Ronald, your, your father says. I, I defend the doctor. I defend the doctor because I hate football. <laughs> That's the reason I support her because I hate whatever come from football. And I think she was right to say it's annoying because those people were doing anything productive. They were wasting their time. So think about it. A lot of the people who were in the hospital in a real emergency because they were dealing with something really important. Then because something that happened in a football. Come on, I mean, I support it because I, I don't is, agree because, because it, I don't like football. 
But you see, I kind of hate the government. New Year <laughs> on Korea, in South Korea happens uh, something similar, but uh, really worse. But but you see, uh, Bert, you, you you okay? You don't like soccer? Fine, good. But that doesn't give her the. That's not an excuse for. What about if it was a concert, a reggaeton concert? That was you a know? real. Real I mean, emergency. No, no. Imagine, imagine a reggaeton concert, and then I don't know, a bomb exploded or something. The the fire, and, and what is she going to say? Oh, thank you, Daddy Yankee, for ruining my shift. It wasn't. It wasn't exactly the the the. It it wasn't really the um, the soccer game. It was just her attitude. I think that was the problem. Yes, I don't. I don't agree with with that comment either because, I mean they don't want to be in an accident and hospitals are made for accidents. So I don't think, uh, I mean, perhaps I don't like going to movies. And what about if a movie room, movie room, it's okay mm -hmm. to say that. Yes. It gets, gets born. Yeah. People were wasting their time there, there too. But I don't, I don't like to say wasting their time because everybody's not working all the time. So they can have fun. You know, Either going to movies or going to a soccer match, it's okay. They don't like to be in an accident. Yes. And I heard doctors say, you know, because when they have to save the life of Marero's example, like he says, man, or, you know, they just kill people, but it's my obligation to save their life. <laughs> they still have to do their, ob their obligation as a doctor. You know, yeah. so in, in this case, they, it was their obligation. They had to help those people. But I kind of agree with the comment of Albert because yeah. I don't like Alianza fans and they I hate always them. I really hate them. Up. They always hurt people. A majority of them were I'm sorry if there's Alianza fan here, mm -hmm. but the majority of them were part of gang members. It's not it's not normal that when there's a problem, there's always someone from Alianza involved in that problem. You know, so, one thing one thing I did not like that the government did, and I am pro-government, but I did not like what they did here, is what they did to the players. You know, like, okay, Alianza will pay $30,000, the directivos, they go to jail, et cetera, et cetera. But there are videos where you see the people hitting the door, hitting the door. That is vandalism. That is terrorism. Why don't you arrest those people? There's a video of a man with his daughter in his shoulders. His daughter maybe is three or four years old, and the man is hitting is hitting the door too. And sure. that man needs to go to jail. <laughs> yes. Sure. Um, what about the free expression in this country? There is free expression, but free expression doesn't mean violence. Yeah, that's true. But I think uh, he refers uh, about the comment. Okay. Oh. oh we like all for fed up with or with our works. Oh but yeah. We don't. We don't uh, go to the social media and and, and tell uh, our feelings. We keep doing our job. Exactly. Oh, yes, Jonathan, you're talking about the free expression of that doctor? Yes. Well, you know, I, I think- agree. I agree with Jonathan. But I think legally, legally, that's what the, the, the director told her. I think doctors, they make a vow. Do you know what is a vow? Un juramento? I see that's like that, that, is. yeah that's the thing I think doctors are very different from uh, like normal private employees for example I in, in my contract where I work in the office there's a contract that says everything is confidential stay away from the social media they, but they, in my contract it says don't put anything related to my life work life and social media because there can be consequence something good or bad so I think doctors, doctors are a little different from any other normal public, uh, private or public employees because doctors, they save lives. <laughs> so I think they have like a, like policemen too, like policemen, I, I think they take a vow, juramento. 
they can whatever like lawyers too i like, guess like lawyers too so yes jonathan she did have her right but she knew the consequences so if she wanted to say something different but she did it in her work stand in her work you know being maybe may, maybe if it was a holiday era dia de cancel Si hubiera pues, no, pero que aún. Even if she put, oh, good that, that I wasn't there that day because of the alianza. But, um, I, you know, I think doctors are a little different. They, they, I think maybe we expect more. But I have a friend. He is, he is the manager of, he's a, he's a manager in, in Aeroman. Aeroman, do you know Aeroman where they fix the airplanes? Yes. And he was explaining because we were we were arguing with my brother because my brother was defending the doctor. And I mean, I don't care, but I know her intentions were not bad. I understand. But it was just a very stupid comment. So I understand why. For in my opinion, I think I understand why she is being criticized. I think her intentions were not bad. It was just a very stupid comment but my my friend but, he, hmm? but you know i'm sorry you know that how is the culture here they complain about everything the but other you know, day i saw a tweet regarding a person who was complaining about the doctor who helped in that match she was complaining about that yeah and that person was just trying to help it it, it got me upset it got me upset yes. because they complain if they help and they complain if they don't help my friend, he said he works in Aeroman. They actually fix the airplanes. Every time an airplane lands, they have to check the airplane. Everything before the airplane leaves again. So my friend, he said, he said, if somebody in my team tuitea, ah, otro avión, gracias, gracias, clima, por arruinarme la noche, oh, I fire him immediately. <laughs> So he, se me va. Because do you know the responsibility of of repairing that airplane? Yeah, so there are maybe maybe in this case there are some comments. But yes, Jonathan, you're right. She does have freedom of speech. Yes. But I think it was not the right time or the right place to do it. Because I don't know. But yes, uh, back to you, Ronald. I hate Alianza too. I hate I, I hate what happened. I hate but for me, those people in the video, those people should be arrested. Did did you see the other the other video of, of fast fans? They were just quiet and calm. Yeah, they were actually they quiet. They were not hitting the door. They were helping. <laughs> they were helping, but mm. Imagine 12 people died unnecessary. Yeah, but I really, really got angry when I saw that man with his daughter, a little girl in his shoulder. But did you did you know what was the problem, right? That people oh. were selling tickets oh, th that there's many were theories. Full. There are many theories. I'm waiting for the for the conclusion. <laughs> No, I mean, my point is that, for example, let's picture you purchase a ticket and if the ticket is false, what would you do? I would go back to home. I wouldn't hit the door. I would accept yeah. it and, well, let's watch the the game at home. I wouldn't be hitting the door. Perhaps it, it falls and I can get in. That That's but, stupid. But, but they are from Alianza, man. What do you expect? <laughs> I expect them to be better because supposedly gang members get in, in, into the jail. But you know my wife part of them. You know my wife, she didn't believe me because I am an Aguila fan. But my wife, she didn't believe me and maybe like 10 years ago. I live remember I told you I live like near Paso del Jaguar, so I live like five minutes from the stadium. And one day we went to the supermarket. Remember, there's a supermarket by the stadium. There's a mini centro comercial. And then we park and I saw Alianza fans. And I told my wife, oh, no, let's go. And my wife, yeah, but come on, man, really? 
no, 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 I don't want to be where these people are. Es que son problemas. No, you see, están hablando del estómago porque son águilas. No, no, really. Okay. I promise you, we go in to the supermarket and you start hearing, pa, pa. Like, se están robando las botellas de guaro. And you know, they were so stupid that they were taking Petrov. Like the, the cheap bottles. I mean, if I'm going to steal liquor, I don't know, take whiskey. <laughs> take good liquor. But no, they were taking like the cheapest. And then and I told my wife, I got my wife, you know. So, oh my God, let's go. Then you see all the police come in and everything breaking. Papa. And after that, my wife, she told me, oh, okay. I believe you. <laughs> but if people used to hate them like, like us, I, I'm talking about you and I, mm -hmm. they, I consider more people will hate them from now on because they had to pay because of their, uh, of that, uh, of that accident. Yeah. We call it like that because they won't get paid as the tournament got canceled. That's and true. I don't consider other teams had to pay because of, of them, because imagine the players, they were not there. <laughs> the players. Yeah. 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 So, so Alison, that's, that's what happened. It was, it was this big controversy. I mean, there's two, there's two ways of seeing, you can see it politically or you can see it like logically, you know, the, the, the comments of that doctor. Like Bert is right. Jonathan is right. There's freedom of speech, but that's, you know, that's what I'm saying. You can see it politically. You can see it logically, you know, but it's, it's a crazy world. What about uh, Angelica? Oh yeah, I remember you have a castle in the back. Oh, you can't talk. Hello. What is that castle in the back you have? It's from a video game. A indie video game. Yeah, you're a gamer. Yay. <laughs> I don't like that word, but yeah, uh, I, 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 I like that. I have a question. Is somebody else? Okay. I'm sorry if I may ask, why don't you like the word gamer? This is the first time I hear this. Because usually many people say mm -hmm. I'm a gamer. I don't know. It's like, uh, I don't know how to say it, but uh, etiqueta, and I don't like that. Okay. I, I only like that thing, and that, that's it. <laughs> it labels you. It does, yeah. Etiqueta. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. But you know, I because I met some people that are gamers, but um, I I met some really like heavy heavy gamers. I used to work in this place, and the IT guy, the IT guy, he was, he was weird. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, <laughs> he, I remember that all he saw was anime. Like everything, he said, I think his family was anime. I don't know, but he said that he did a study and he discovered that his in his previous life, he was Chinese or something. But <laughs> yeah, okay. and, and he, but he was extremely smart though. And he talked about, he talked about anime and this, he doesn't watch the news. He doesn't okay. talk to people. All he does is watch anime. Wow, that's very intense. <laughs> yeah, but but he, I'm sorry, but yes, he wasn't a gamer. He, what do you call those people that just like anime? Mm, some people talk about them like otakus or nerds. Oh. I, I was bad with him. I remember I was a little bad with him. <laughs> because uh, I, I understand that because I knew a lot of people like that. And it was very strange uh, to communicate with them because I don't know, it's not for discriminates someone or somebody, but it's very strange to talk to, talk to them. I always sent them pictures of naked women. On WhatsApp. Yeah. No, but I mean not naked like in bikini. 
And he Qué was cruel. Like, no, because he didn't watch. <laughs> he didn't even. He like. He didn't like women. He liked the women in anime. To oh. the anime girls. <laughs> yeah, he was strange, but I always played with him. So I tell him, so, what if you meet the like the most beautiful girl, and she tells you, let's go to the. I forgot his name, Edwin. I think Edwin. Let's go to the movies. He says no. <laughs> you, you would not go to the movies with that girl. No, only if it's anime. Are you serious? Yes. If she doesn't like anime, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it, you know, but I. <laughs> okay. But he always talked to himself. <laughs> but you know, gamers. Um, I was watching a show that. Do you know that there's rehab for gamers? Mm, there's two places no, I don't. In, in Mexico I in Mexico there's a rehab center and China I think are the two countries that actually have a rehab imagine before rehab was for alcoholics or drug addicts now there's rehab for gamers oh my god I, I think in Korea in Korea what have you seen what they sell, things they sell for gamers? I promise but you, one time... You can earn money no, playing one, video games. One time, no, there's this commercial. There is a seat, a sofa seat for gamers with a toilet inside. <laughs> I promise you, because some gamers, they, they don't like to eat or they don't, because they, they don't want to miss... So then, imagine there's a toilet inside of it. Ah. That is weird. <laughs> yeah. I like video games, but not that that far. <laughs> it's <is> strange. <laughs> when I was a little girl, I went, when I was a little girl, when I was a little boy, <laughs> wow, when I was a little boy, I used to, I used to play games a lot, but now I see that there's like a different level. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about you guys? Yeah. Are you guys addicted to anything? Addicted is like not necessarily bad. I mean, something you're obsessed with. Oh, I know you, Bert, that you're obsessed with gadgets. Yeah, that's right. I'm uh, so with electro all electronic I mean, devices and stuff like that. And what is your favorite language? And le I mean, lately I'm just uh, so into with language. I mean, besides English and learning uh, Chinese and uh, others language like even latin think about it who the in this world is learning latin <laughs> a good catholic person <laughs> yeah that's right i'm learning uh latin and arabic because i i, I mean i'm so curious you know i with religion because i want to study the al quran and this is in arabic and me too i'm interested in the quran learn. i'm interested in the quran Awesome. Oh, what is your favorite store, uh, Bert? My what? Your favorite store. Store. Yes, because like, it. like you like electronics, you like gadgets. Where, where do you ah. like to go? Well, I go to Casa Rivas because I buy uh, any devices, circuits, uh, chips, and I mean because I build electronic. That's what I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I like. Yeah, they're good. Casa love... Rivas is good, huh? Casa Rivas, yes, I love it because the Arduino. Uh, now I'm learning Python. You know the new language, Python. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the IE, the AI, sorry, and artificial intelligence. And uh, this is the new language to program. And it, they're making a merge with the electronic and the programming language in the Python. So uh, Casa Rivas is. I mean, I don't say uh, they sell these kind of gadgets. To what, what I like it's about really Casa, awesome. what I like about Casa Rivas, is that if they don't have it, they make it, right? I I go to Metro Sur, and then if they don't have it, they said we'll make it for you, like a cable or anything. They'll do it. Nice. What about uh, somebody else is obsessed with something? No, come on, everybody. Don't tell me your life is very 
monotonous. <laughs> you don't like reading, you don't like exercise, watching something. Actually, <laughs> I, I am a fan or maybe one of my hobbies is DYI, you know? No. Let, let me, I'm not, I'm not sure what is the meaning of- Do it yourself. Yeah. Be yourself, yeah. exactly. Uh, at home, I, I like to do a lot of things. Uh, wait, wait, uh, I'm sorry, be yourself. No, it's do it. Do it yourself. Oh. Do it yourself, exactly. Okay. DIY. But, uh, but the main, or the focus of this, uh, the majority of the people use this term, if I'm not mistaken, is like, stuff like um working with wood or i don't know something at home I, i'm not sure how do you say albañilería or stuff like that if you need to repair something at home or you wanna you wanna build something on your on your own so uh, you do it so you can look up for different videos in youtube and stuff like that and i like it actually i have purchased <laughs> A lot of in the last two years, I have purchased like twenty different tools, like a, like a welding machine, or let's see, another one is is a is a saw for for wood and stuff like that. But you know, has that ever happened to you? I I, I understand that now, that you watch somebody on YouTube and they make this recipe, like this food recipe, and you know, let's make lasagna with four simple steps and they make it so easy. And when you try it, nah, <laughs> you know, like, like what the hell? It happens. It happens. It happens. <laughs> or you get sick. Or you get sick. It's true. Yeah, you know, you're right, Dennis. Every time I have a problem now with like a, like exactly, you know, after we finish class, I'm going to go to YouTube and check what's wrong with, with my Google Chrome you know how, uh, how but do it yourself all right okay so listen um i know we have time still but tomorrow we're going to start the, the grammar just a quick thing let me see how many tenses we know okay do you know to speak a basic english do you know how many tenses you need to know I think, 12, I think they are 12 of them. There are three in total and we usually three. I'm sorry, there are what, Claudia? There are 12 in total and we usually use three. Which ones do we use? Um, present, present, continuum, and future. I would okay. say someone could communicate with simple present, simple past, and simple future. Yes. I it's not correct, but they could communicate with just those tenses. It's true. It's true. But actually, yes, I would say four. For a basic, you can have a basic conversation just using four tenses. Yes. And the interesting about this four tenses is that of this four tenses, the next tenses come because you start mixing. So let me explain that to you. Okay. But yes, uh, Ronald said one thing right. Simple future, simple past, simple present. And the fourth would be present continuous. Because every day we ask that question, hey, what are you doing? For any, for anything like, hello, hi, what are you doing? Oh, hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? That every day we ask that question, what are you eating? What are you drinking? You know, we always ask that 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 question every day. So, what is simple future? Do you remember? When you use the the auxiliary will or going to. Okay, good. When you use will or going to, but most important, simple future. You expect you're expressing an action in the future in a simple form. Okay, so, yes. No, no, it's true. But yes, we do use going to and will. So why is it called simple future? Because, hey, what are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow I am going to go to work. 
Simple, right? Simple question, simple answer. But if you start, I don't know, depends, because if it rains, I will have to drive. But if it doesn't rain, I might blah, 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 blah. That's complicating yourself. That's not simple future anymore. So simple future is a simple question with a simple answer. Yes? So you would say, I am going to or I will, correct? Yes, thank you. And do you remember what is the difference between I am going to and I will, Jonathan? I remember it was like we oh. was something. Wait, hold on. Let, let, let me see Jonathan first. Let's see if he, if he, if he remembers. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's no, okay. Jonathan, do you remember? No, I, no, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Ronald, help him then. Like, you were certain it's okay to say that when you are secure. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you use wheel, it's like that's something you're sure is going to happen. And going to was like, you are not 100% sure it's going, to, it's going to happen. Like, when I get back to home, I'm going to cook. You you don't know if you if you could order food or something different, but for example, when I get back home, I will take an I will uh, go to bed. That's that's sure, right? But when, uh, for example, if you said uh, when I get back home, I'm going to cook a uh, pizza. You don't know if that's going to happen. You're not sure, but you're sure you're going to to sleep. For example, you will sleep. For example. That's what I remember. Okay. Okay. I understand you. I, I know you have the idea, but do you think everybody understood? No, but because we were in the class. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, remember, remember I told you, this is a very good way to practice English. When you explain something, it's an ability. Explicar algo, really, it's an ability. And do you remember when you explain something like, like uh, if you're a trainer, if you're a teacher, if you're a big brother, if you're a father, if you're a grandfather, when you explain, you always explain to someone below you, correct? So, when you explain, you have to be very, very simple when you explain. Yes? So always remember this. Imagine, Ronald, you have a little brother. Your little brother is 10 years old. And he says, Ronald, you speak English. Please tell me the difference between will and going to. It's my homework. And Don says, Ronald, you would have to do something like, okay, by Amina. What's that? Will is like, it's like, <laughs> you know, will is like when you say, I will, I will go, that because you, you're sure that you will go. And, and going to is like, it's like when you're planning because you're going to go, you know? And Ronald, your little brother, so I gotta seek him. Do you understand? No, he didn't understand. No, but, but it's a tricky question too, because some people don't know. and they die without knowing that. No, 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 I understand. But not necessarily will or going to, uh, anything, anything like, uh, okay, Ronald, in, in the escuela, they tell me, what is the difference between simple future and simple present? Or oh, simple present and present continuous. And then you go, oh, okay, present continuous is what you're doing in this moment, drinking, you know? And then you start in simple present is what you do every day. I drink water every day. Well, you know, you, you find a way to explain easy. If you find a way to explain, everything is much easier. Remember I told you that I do that with, with my class, que están en TOEFL or TOEIC? I tell them, okay, if you are from El Salvador, 
tell me a typical uh, food in your in your Salvador. Pupusa. Okay, what is a pupusa? It's a tortilla with cheese. What is that? I am from Africa. I don't know what tortilla is. So then there's this person like, and then they start like, they try to explain to me because they assume I know, but imagine I don't know anything. <laughs> he said, like, teacher, no, explain to me. What is a pupusa? I don't know. And then, and then they have to start from zero. Y me empiezan a decir, oh, it's, um, it's dough and stuff with cheese and pork. You make it in a ball and you start palming and you throw it in the grill and you flip it and then it's in a circular shape and you eat it. So it's giving me a visual. And it's interesting. I, I really rec uh, recommend, you. for example, Bert, you like, you like um, electronics a lot. You like software a lot. That's a good example to explain to somebody in an easy form because not everybody will understand what you're talking about, especially in technology. No todos entendemos. So like, what is that? You're not going to give a, an explanation like, you're not going to give an explanation like, a, like, like you're talking to yourself. You know, you have to give them an, an easy explanation. All right, so good, but that was simple future. Yes. Who else can remember the difference between I will and I'm going to? Is is the difference important? Is the difference important? Yes, I think that difference are very important because if we don't know what are the different, uh, maybe our communication is not going to be in a, in a proper manner. So if we know what, what the difference is, so we are going to do, we are going to do it in a proper manner and our communication is going to be better. And also in general, um, if we know the difference between a, uh, one thing and another thing, not only in language or communication. I think that we are going to avoid okay. uh, making no, but, mistakes. But, but my question is, is the difference between I am going to and I will, is that important? Yeah, I think that that is important. I am trying actually to understand what the difference is because okay. I didn't know, but I think that is very important. I don't think it's important because people don't know it and it's okay. Okay. Remember, I don't know if you remember, but I told you sometimes it's important, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you can say I will and going. Sometimes you can say I will eat, and sometimes you can say I'm going to eat. There's no difference. But sometimes there is a difference. Let me give an example. Ronald was right. I am going to is when you have a plan. And I will is there's a commitment. Do you understand commitment? No, no. Commitment is compromise. Un compromiso. Okay. Okay, so I can say tomorrow I'm going to eat chicken or tomorrow I will eat chicken. There's no difference. Cuando es una difference? Imagine I am in a diet. Imagine I am in a diet with a nutritionist and the nutritionist gave me a plan for the week. Entonces voy a ver que, oh no, tomorrow's Tuesday. Let me check my schedule, my calendar. Oh no, tomorrow I will eat chicken. Why will and not going to? because it's not a plan, because I am committed this week to follow a, a special menu. Do you understand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 people and nobody's speaking. Uh, so I don't know if you, <laughs> except Ronald. Angela is not speaking. 
I yeah, know it's so quiet. So, I didn't hear anything from her I in have, the beginning. I, I know. Say something. <laughs> No, I, I, I mean, that, that example is clearer to people who were in that class, but yeah, okay. I would say that they, there would be a better example, in my opinion. Okay, because... so, okay, look, okay, so, mm -hmm. okay, if you want to speak, go into and will, fine, do it. But I promise you there will be mm -hmm. one time in your life that that will make a difference. Ronald, if you ever have a gringa girlfriend, I promise you that one day, if you want to ask her to marry you, you're not going to say, I love you, Joanne, are you going to marry me? Aila has said, will you marry me? And you will wonder why. But, um, you know, <laughs> but yeah, but what, what I'm saying is that really there's no, there's no correct way to say I will and I'm going to. It's just, but there is a reason why the, 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 the situation. But just to make sure, that, that question is, would you, right? Will you? be used with, would you, no. yes. No, would you, no. No, would it's, you marry me? No. no, it's will you. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Because she will say, yes, I will, or no, I will not. Y si ella dice, yes, I will, ¿qué significa? Bueno, ¿qué es? Yes, I will. Sí, oh, sí, lo haré. Uh -huh. Sí, lo haré. ¿Qué es lo haré? Me estoy comprometiendo. Sí. No, I, yo decía I, porque en español es, ¿te casarías conmigo? Porque uh -huh, te really. vas a casar conmigo, está muy pesado, siento yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Uh, that's, that's why I thought it was with, would you. Ah, uh -huh, pero por eso, porque when you say will, o sea, te estás comprometiendo en algo. When you say, I will go, I will, I will, you're compromising. I would that... say a nice question, uh, a nice example would be like, ¿Te vas a casar conmigo o no te vas a casar conmigo? That would be with, are you going to? Yeah. yeah. That's uh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> so you go like, hey, what's up? Are you going to marry me or not? Uh, that, that, that would be a nice difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, it's true. It's true. No, but what, what I'm saying is like, remember that just igual en español. Yo sé que alguna vez en su vida han dicho yo comer y yo iré y yo voy a ir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, un ejemplo uh, hey, viene Héroe del Silencio Puh, yo ahí estaré yo ahí estaré en primera fila es una expresión right? we, we use oh. ahí voy a estar uh -huh. no, no, ahí voy a estar no, pero ahí, ahí estaré en primera fila iba a ir a mi boda, ahí estaré viejo es una expresión pero porque estamos ahí si les pregunto y por qué dice la gente ahí estaré y ahí voy a estar what's the difference o sea, cuando digo ahí estaré, es, es como, ¿qué es lo que estoy dando a entender en mi, en mi expresión? No va a haber nada en el mundo que me cambie, eh, o sea, esa fecha. Nada me va a cambiar de estar ahí esa fecha. Y pueda que sí, ¿vale? pueda que ya no me case, o pueda que me pelee con mi amigo, o pueda que me valga, pero <ríe> yo a mi amigo le estoy expresando, eh, me, porque si me dice, hey, va a ir a mi boda, viejo, ahí estaré, primera fila. Con solo decirle, ahí estaré, le estoy dando a entender más que ahí voy a estar. O sea, no te preocupes, pase lo que pase, ya tengo apartado ese día, ahí estaré. Example. The elections for president en El Salvador. ¿Van a ser o serán en el 2024? O 23. ¿Cuántos son? 24, right? We don't know because Nayib, some people say he is a, a, a dictator. <laughs> no. no, 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 it's not that, it's not that, but the, the, the voting, the, the voto, the elections. I guess they will be next year. Oh, you see, they will be next year, not going to. O sea que el Salvador no está planeando cuándo van a ser las votaciones o ya están establecidas qué año va a ser. It's already scheduled. Okay, so in that case, you said it right, Ronald. They will be next year. Not they're going to be, because if you say they're going to be, aún están veremos. You know, it's a plan. Puede que sea el otro año, or maybe the next year after that. 
por ejemplo, pero puede cambiar. O sea, no necesariamente porque está comprometido significa de que va a ser esa fecha. Pueden haber cambios, um, pero en present time, oh. así está establecido. But remember with COVID, with COVID, many things changed. Yeah. Yes, Ronald? Yes, but maybe there is a pandemic next, next yeah. year and they could get... But, but okay, that? But, okay let, let, let's go back to my friend. Let's go back to my friend. My friend que me preguntó si voy a estar en la boda, he said, I will be there. Me comprometí en tiempo presente. Right now, I know that I will be there. De aquí a cinco meses que esa boda, muchas cosas pueden pasar. Yes, one, maybe they don't get married. Two, another pandemic. Three, I die. I don't know, many things can change. But in the moment, I am compromising myself that I will be there. Porque si viene a party, me dice, hey, mira, vamos a la playa esa fecha. Oh, no, I can't. Why? Because I will be at my friend's wedding. Nunca han visto en las películas, hey, if you need me, I'll be outside. If you need me, I'll be in my office. If you need me, I'll be, I'll be on my phone or whatever. I will be. Well, anyways, so I don't want to confuse you. I'm going to and I will. It's the same thing. But sometimes if you want to mark the difference, then you have to understand when to use will. You have to understand. Cuando quieren amenazar a alguien. Remember your mother and your father? Si no venís a la una, te echaré de la casa. I will kill you. I will kill you. <laughs> Or I'm going to kill you. <laughs> no, I'm going to kill. No, but no, but because you're serious, you like I will kill you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Tu papá te prestaba el carro, like here. If you if you do anything to my car, I will kill you. No, it, but it's an expression. So we have simple future. That's simple future. But remember, it's always something simple. Simple question, simple answer. Don't complicate. What are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow I will work. I think everybody will work. To Did you work today? Claudia, Bert, Ronald? Yes. You... Yes. Yes. Why? Why yeah. did you why did you work today? It was Memorial Day. Yes, it's Memorial, Memorial Day, Day in America. In United States of America. Yes. Uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, We're not because, America. <laughs> because I am a back office agent and, oh, and back that office, doesn't yeah. affect directly directly to me. Yeah. Directly to me. Mm -hmm. You see, what happens is that sometimes when you work when you work on the phone. There are federal holidays, Dias Festivos Federales, that it's illegal to call. Es ilegal llamar. Well, it depends, like, si uno está en ventas, you know, of cobros o algo. You know, like, if I call you, yes, may I speak with Jose, his, uh, Jesus Alberto Flores Granados? Who is this? Hi, Jesus, we're calling you from the bank. Oh, no, you're in trouble. So you can't, it's como aquí, un banco no puede llamar un domingo, right? Creo. It's illegal. Oh, no pueden llamar después de cierta hora. Well, in the United States, federal holidays. Y por eso hay unos call centers que le dan ese día libre a los agents. Como, no, no vamos a hacer nada. Don't come. Pero ya, yeah, in your case, if you're back office, you have to. Siempre hay trabajo. I know a, a a friend who where he works he gets paid like I'm not sure if I could say thrice. Me pagan triple. Three times, uh, triple. Triple, he gets a triple uh, payment that day because it's a holiday uh, in U.S. But not here. But that that's cool, I guess. Because well, what does I he would, do? Uh, he's in a call center. He works at Co Cognizant, I guess it's the name. Of that call center. No, but what does he do? He's part of the 
they call it no it's not insurance is for for things right insurance it's for mm -hmm. things but what about for people what what is the word like seguro para personas no it's, you can say that too life insurance, insurance. life insurance are uh, correct well so he must be available every oh. single day because you know yeah. when an accident could yeah there are exceptions place. it's true well in this case yeah there are exceptions but like a normal normal day like sales collections so this date or fourth of july tampoco they don't work well okay so tomorrow we will start aquel día les pasé el libro de gramática no right the whatsapp oh. I don't have the grammar book. No, no, no. It's a different grammar book. It's, it's the grammar book like I read, the one I use to learn. It's a very good, good book. I will send it to you on WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you. But we can't do we can't do that book here in class. <laughs> we have to use. You the, use the, will. Hmm? You oh, use will. There are. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Alice. You see, I will send it to you. You see, es que de verdad se le va a ser como natural. I will send it to you as I'm compromising. Me estoy comprometiendo. I will send it to you. <laughs> También puede haber usado I'm going to, pero ¿por qué no sé I will? Because I, con el tiempo van a aprender a usarlo. Going to or will. Okay, then. I will, wait, wait, wait. Before we leave, Angela, hi. Hi, teacher. Where is your shirt from, El Salvador or Italia or what? I'm from <laughs> Ciudad Versailles. No, no, Angela, listen to what I said. Your shirt. Is oh. it from El Salvador, Italia, Brazil? So, the what? The Angela, listen to my question. It's a very, very simple question. La voy a molestar porque I remember. <laughs> Listen to my question. Listen to the palabras claves. Your shirt. Is it from El Salvador? Italy? Brazil? Your what? Your shirt. Is it from El Salvador, Brazil? I don't know. You could say jersey, right? Yes, but if you don't understand shirt, you will not understand jersey. Hmm. Oh. Angela, your shirt. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, so one more time, I will repeat the question. Your shirt, is it? Oh, no, you? yeah. My my shirt, yeah, I don't not understand. Is the, 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 the exercise. <laughs> oh, okay. The exercise, yes. I oh, okay. don't understand. Excuse me. No, 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 no. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, but remember, listening is very important. <laughs> because if you don't understand the question, <laughs> it's impossible to answer. <laughs> uh, yes. No, I can't see. Look, it's Salvador. Yes, no, no, no. It's the, the exercise. It's an exercise shirt, okay. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> okay, well, you. nice to hear you, Angela. Thank you very much, okay, <laughs> class? I will see you tomorrow. Okay, I will, I will. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.